Testament, we hear about a messenger who's coming who will prepare the way before me. The Lord then will come, the Lord we're seeking. But who can endure the day of his coming? Malachi says, For he'll be like a refiner's fire, he'll purify the Levites and refine them like gold and silver. Then there will be people who can bring offerings in righteousness. Well, over in the New Testament, Peter says this, though you've had to have, you've had to suffer all these kinds of trials, they've come so that your faith, which is of greater worth than gold, which perishes when it's refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. So here's the thing. Trials are coming. The refining's coming. The question is, are you open to what God wants to do in you as he refines you? The chancellor of the college I went to used to always say, you're either in a trial or you're about to be in one. And so again, as I share the song this morning, would you be willing to open up your heart and tell God it's okay for him to refine you? More than that, would you actually ask him to refine you by fire? That's a crazy prayer, but man, it is a powerful prayer this morning. Well, if the altar's where you meet us, take me there, take me there. If what you need is just an offering, it's right here. My life is here, and I'll be a living sacrifice for you. Cause you're a fire, the refiner. I want to be consumed. I want to be tried by fire, purified. Take whatever you Desire. Lord, here's my life. I want to be tried by fire. Purified. Take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. If your glory wants to come in, let it fall. Let it fall, let your fire is consuming. We'll fill this place and set it ablaze. Cause I'll be a living sacrifice for you. You're a fire, a fire. I want to be consumed. I want to be tried by fire. Purify, you take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. Oh, I want to be tried by fire. Purify, take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life.
just to pray that in your own words. be surprised at the painful trial you are suffering as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice that you participate in the sufferings of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you're insulted because of the name of Christ, you're blessed for the spirit of glory of God rests on you. If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or a thief or a criminal even as a meddler however if you suffer as a Christian don't be ashamed but praise God that you bear his name friends I want the Lord to try me to refine me even in ways that I'm not quite ready for him to do so yet in this moment that's why I'm praying this prayer I hope you feel the same way if you even if you say Lord I don't know if I totally mean this, but just keep praying that prayer. Just keep saying, Lord, refine me until you mean it, until you're really wide open for him to do whatever he wants to do. He is the refiner, and he's going to refine you. Will you open up your heart and let him do it? Let the Holy Spirit be a catalyst for the refining that needs to happen. Lord, we just say we we know it's there. We know the stuff is there. We know the stuff dross needs to just be burned off, Lord. The extra, the fatty stuff in our hearts just needs to be burned off. And you need to refine us. 
And so we just say, Lord, do it. I want to be refined by fire. Do it today, Lord. Do it until it's all I want, until I'm a living sacrifice only for you. I'm not going to pour myself out for any other God, any other idol, any other thing that's trying to capture my life and my attention. Lord, you have me. Because I want to be tried by fire and purified. So take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. 